Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you usually follow my channels, it means that you are a big fan of Vietnamese food. So today I'm going to show you how to make one of the most popular uh, street foods in Vietnam. And it can be literally translated into English as fried dough. So I'm holding in my hand um, one of the first ingredients of the dish and uh, I got it from BNT Food Center I think you can get um, this product from any uh, Chinese supermarket and it is called Teochew Fried Cake Flour so this is an illustration of the dish I'm going to show you how to make today but we have to prepare the dough or the flour um, at least one day in advance so in Vietnam it will take just a little bit of time to prepare the dish because I can just go to the market and buy a big block of dough or flour already made for 50,000 Vietnam dong I think it is about three dollars I guess but here in Canada I have to prepare the flour all by myself hmm. and you know like in Vietnam if you grave this dish then you can just go to any um, you know food cart where they sell it and then buy it, um, maybe one or two servings for 20,000 Vietnam dong which is likely over a dollar Canadian dollar Alright, so let's talk a little bit about how we are going to prepare the flour um, This product is from a um, is from I think um, a Vietnamese owned business but it is an American company and the product is exported to Canada. So what is strange about the, uh, the package is that they offer the, the directions in three languages including Vietnamese, Chinese and French. No English directions. So I'm going to just follow the uh, instructions in Vietnamese here. Uh, first, this bag of flour is uh, 340 grams. I'm going to mix it with uh, two cups of cold water and I will put it um, into a non-stick um, pan. So I'm going to start it on medium heat until um, the flour thickens and until you feel um, heavy enough and then we are going to put the mixture into a mold and we are going to steam it for about 15 minutes so let's start the first cup of water and the second cup now we are going to give the flour a good mix and after that um, we are going to put it on medium heat
make sure that there are no like lumps and chums left in the flower. In, in order to enhance the taste um, of the flower of the dough, then um, we can add some diced taro into it. But because I forgot to buy a taro, so I'm going to just you know, go on with um, a plain block of dough. But if you want to try having taro in your dough because it will create a really interesting experience when um, you are making the dish, then you're welcome. Okay, so I'm going to turn on the stove. Okay. Um, I'm going to put it on um, the highest heat first um, to bring the mixture to the boiling temperatures and after that I'm going to reduce the heat to the medium level but in the process of doing this you have to mix continuously otherwise um, the flour will be boiled getting hotter I'm going to reduce the heat to medium and continue to stir flowers start to thicken. Keep trying. Oh my god. My hand feels really, really tired. But I have to keep on going. Now, as you can see, um, the flower has taken. I'm going to turn off this, the stove okay, by using the remaining heat to stove for um, one or two minutes. We have to use a spatula in this case. There are no other um, utensils that are on that that I'm more useful than this. Okay. So uh -huh. okay. okay. Now let's continue. So the next step is to prepare a mold and please remember to grease some cooking oil on the bottom of the mold.
really, it really looks like green, don't you think? Please remember to use a non-stick pen, otherwise you will have a lot of problem removing um, the flowers from the pen. Mine is non-stick, and yet I still, I still have to, to try really hard to get everything out. Okay. Now, um, we are going to uh, Spread it out to give um, the flower a little bit of shape so that um, it is evenly spread in the mold. So I have finished with shaping my flower. Thank you so much, my beautiful spatula. Without you, I would never be able to finish this step or even the first step. Okay. Now, um, the final step with the flowers is to have a steam. And because I, I don't have a proper steamer, so this is my way of doing it. A big, big pan, some water on the bottom, a small bowl, and then my mold will go on top. We are going to steam the flour within 15 minutes. So when it reaches the boiling temperatures, you may want to reduce the heat to, um, let's say, the medium level or uh, slightly above it. It's been about uh, 5 minutes already. I'm going to wait for another 10 minutes. And then I will use a toothpick to check if the dough is good enough. So it's been about 15 minutes. Oh. Wow. This is one of the most common tests Vietnamese mothers usually use in the kitchen. Okay. So I think it's, um, it's still a little bit sticky, I guess. Let's try it. Um, let's see. So it is thick from, from top to bottom. And uh, I guess that the flour is, is good for now. So I'm going to let it cool off. maybe for a couple of hours and then it will be ready to help me make the dish that i need to show you today now my flowers has um cooled off i'm going to put it in the fridge and leave it there overnight the next in ingredient for the dish is spaghetti squash so in Vietnam um, when uh, people make fried dough they use green papaya and they, they slide the green papaya into thin long strips and then soak them into um, sweet and sour vinegar like uh, you use vinegar and then you add a lot of sugar 
but because uh, green papayas are quite expensive so I switched to spaghetti squash I got it from the uh, Filipino farm, Judy's farm when I went there about three weeks ago and this is only 99 cents per pound um, because I don't have any uh, I don't have a microwave at my place I'm going to bake the squash probably in about half an hour okay so the squash is ready let's cut it open oh god it's really hot oh my god I'm going to remove the seed. Mm -hmm. Just remove it. So I cannot use the Okay, so now we are just going to use a fork and just everything out. If you like, um, if you like, you can make a part of vinegar one part of water and uh, about two or three spoonfuls of sugar and then you can soak this into that uh, mixture uh, but as for myself just for now because I'm, I'm quite lazy so I will just enjoy uh, my fried dough with plain spaghetti squash Get everything, everything out, okay, and do the same for the other half. Oh, okay. So I just took my my dough out of the fridge. God, it is a little bit hard. But uh, fear not, when you have it fried, it will become softer and crispy. Now uh, we need to cut the dough into uh, small rectangles pieces. Mm. Not sure, let's see, let's see. Yeah. I'm just going to cut it in half first. Oh, mm. oh not even, but... It's okay.
Tada! So I have finished with cutting the dough into pieces. Now they are ready to be fried. And uh, before that, please also wash some scallion and some coriander. So the coriander um, can be served together with the dish raw. So you have to wash it carefully. And as for the scallion, um, I'm going to slice it up so that uh, later on um, it will be scattered onto uh, the top of the dish to add some color. Now let's quickly prepare the sauce for this uh, dish. So we are going to need four ingredients, soy sauce, vinegar, sugars, and water. For soy sauce in Canada, you have to have this brand, Maggie, and it has to be Vietnamese product. Let me show it. Let's see where they, it has to be product of Vietnam. Um, in supermarkets, I, I can see a similar brand, but they are product of Thailand, so no, this one is the best. So the uh, the amount will be one part for everything. One part of soy sauce. You can see the the texture. Very nice. One part of oh vinegar. Part of sugar. And one part of water. If you like it to be spicy, you can add some some sriracha chili sauce. Or you can actually add some some chili. No, cut in into smaller pieces. If you use hot water, then it would be a lot quicker for the sugars to completely uh, dissolve into into the mixture. Taste it. Mmm, so good. Remember, one part of soy sauce, one part of vinegar, one part of sugar, and one part of water. And there you go.
with some soy sauce that I made earlier. I put in some sriracha chili sauce. Mix it up. Uh, as for some people, they like to just take one piece at a time, dip it into the sauce and enjoy it. But as for myself, I prefer uh, pouring the whole thing onto my dish. So I serve it with some uh, here spaghetti squash and some coriander. Now, um, what I don't like about the flour is that after I fry it, it's become too crispy. So the dough is supposed to be soft and crispy at the same time. And let me try. You can hear the sound, right? It is too crispy, and it will it will make your your teeth, your jaw, tired after you have to chew it. So I think the next time I make the dish again, I'm going to add more water into the flour instead of two cups. I think I will add two cups and a half of water. I will leave the recipes in the comment section so that you will not repeat my mistake. But anyway, I really like um, the finish dish. And um, I'm going to enjoy this dish once in a while because um, as you can see, we have to use quite a lot of cooking oil to fry um, the dough. So it will not be good for our heart. But um, I hope that you will succeed with my recipe and thanks for watching my video. If you like the content, please press subscribe to support my channel. Thank you and goodbye.